द न्यूमरिकल एग्जिटिव आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स डिफिनेट न्यूमरल्स एग्जाम्पल वन टू फाइव एक्सेट्रा एंड फर्स्ट थ्राइस पेंटा एक्सेट्रा इन डेफिनेट न्यूमरिकल इन डेफिनेट न्यूमरल्स एग्जाम्पल सम फ्यू एनी नन मैनी सेवरल एक्सेट्रा डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव एग्जेटिव रीड द फॉलोइंग एग्जाम्पल एवरी स्टूडेंट शुड ब्रिंग रूपीज हंड्रेड फॉर दी वर्कशॉप दे एटलस बिलोंग टू नाइदर यू नॉर मी ईच नाउन ईच टाउन हैज इट्स ओन मेयर आईदर यू और आई विल विन दिस रेस नाउ यर सम वर्ड्स आर अंडरलाइन द वर्ड्स इवन नाइदर ईच एंड आईदर पॉइंट टू अ सिंगल नंबर ऑफ पर्सन एनिमल प्लेस और थिंग दीज वर्ड्स आर कॉल्ड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव एग्जेटिव नेक्स्ट इज डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव एग्जेटिव रीड द फॉलोइंग एग्जाम्पल डैड बॉय हैज लॉस्ट हिज कैमरा कैमरा दिस कार्पेट हैज मैजिकल प्रॉपर्टी सम इंसिडेंट्स आर कॉमन दीज स्पीचेस आर नॉट वेरी स्वीट द वर्ड डैट दिस सच एंड दिस पॉइंट टू अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन एनिमल प्लेस और थिंग सच वर्ड्स आर कॉल्ड डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव एग्जेटिव नेक्स्ट इज इंटरोगेटिव एग्जेटिव द वर्ड वॉट विच हुज यूज विथ नाउन टू आस्क क्वेश्चन आर कॉल इंटर इंटरोगेटिव एग्जेटिव वॉट कोट आर यू वेरिंग टू नाइट विच सिटी हैज द लार्जेस्ट पॉपुलेशन हुज टाई इज दिस सो वेन सच वर्ड्स कम इट इज वॉट इंटरोगेटिव एग्जेटिव नेक्स्ट इज पोजेसिव एग्जेटिव माय योर हिज हर आर देर एंड इट्स आर पोजेसिव एग्जेटिव शोइंग टू हूम the person or thing belong my sister asked me to help her in the kitchen we stand with our arms by our side for the national anthem your headmaster attended our annual parent day program so when such words come my our your his her their its such type of words when they come they are called what possessive adjective because it is showing to whom the person or thing belong so here is exercise number 6a underline the adjective and state their kind he had a vast empire a very strong army and untold wealth so here you have to underline the adjective and mention which type of which kind of adjective it is i can weigh up to 18 kg and stand up to 4 feet in height i have got a long white neck brown wings tall yellow legs and a black cap on my head so here all around 60 sentences are there 60 sentences are there that you have to write in that this homework you have to complete in your workbook and the definition along with the example that you have to write in your notebook around 60 sentences are there that you have to do the homework and by 6 o'clock i want your homework to be done so up to 60 example that you have to do in your workbook and submit it today itself by 6 o'clock thank you so much hello students today we will learn english grammar chapter 6 adjective See in fourth, fifth, we have learned adjective. 
so what is the meaning of adjective it is a word that describes or qualify a noun or a pronoun for example the old lady offered a silent prayer old this is adjective silent this is also a adjective because it is qualifying it describes or qualify a noun most of the flowers in the bouquet are pink and white so what is the color of the flower it is pink and white so it is describing the flower he is quite studious studious is some quality of that pronoun two blue birds sat on this tall tree tall here it is describing the two blue birds the two blue birds sat on this tall tree so here it is describing not the bird the tree how the tree is the tall it is tall now we will see kinds of adjective adjective of quality or descriptive adjective read the following example the fox is a cunning animal so here cunning is the adjective the the lame old man wanted to cross the road the lame old this is also what adjective because it is describing how the old man how the old man so he was the the lame old man the chinese <coughs> the chinese language is spoken the world over which language so the chinese language so this is also what adjective it is because it is describing which type of adjective it is those naughty boy those naughty boys met with a serious accident how the boys were naughty where they met what they met with a serious accident so this is also what adjective so the underlined words describes the animal man language boys accident therefore the words that describes a person animal place or thing are called adjective of quality or descriptive quality so all this definition along with the example you have to write in your notebook and the exercise which i'll give that you have to write in your workbook in notebook also and workbook also you have to do this homework adjective of quantity read the following example some men are very handsome most people think they are clever the sheik is a man of few words a day comes when all men must die so here some most few all such words are what underlined so the underlined words tells us how much or how many persons or things are there such types of words that tell us the number of a person animal or thing are called adjective of quantity adjective of number or numerical adjective read the following example the demon had two sharp horns our flat is on the fifth floor two uncles of mine have become doctor the man had three degree but yet no job so here 2 5 2 no all these adjective are what underline so the words the underline word tells us the quantity about the noun spoken of 
hence they are called hence they are called adjective of number or numerical adjective